hello everyone i am sai jitana welcome back to my channel sai tech in today's video i'll try to do the 4g plus aggregation support test and the download speed test and the speed test comparison between this both smartphones which is a oneplus 9r versus the iq7 device so there are a lot of oneplus 9r users actually they are waiting for this kind of video so where i'll be using this kind of airtel sim card friends before i did use a lot of geo sim card and the v sim card but never i tried the airtel sim card in this kind of comparison but let's see by using this airtel how much the download speeds will be there and how much the browsing speeds will be there that is what i'm going to test in both phones so first let me try to uh, quickly try in the iq or 7 device so it is iq 7 smartphone which i'm going to try this smartphone first so there's no other sim card in this phone friends right now i'll try to download the game and i'll try to uh, see in how much time the game will be downloaded in this iq 7 and later same sim card i'll try to use in the oneplus 9r and then i'll try to see how much time it takes so in this way we'll be able to calculate friends uh, which phone has got what kind of download speeds and what kind of speed test as well that is what i'll, I'll try to show you so in the IQ7 device, as you can clearly see, friends, you do get only LTE 900, 4G 900, as you can clearly see, there is no LTE plus. So you're not getting any kind of aggregation inside. This is a complete studio environment. So you're not getting any kind of aggregation right now. So this is the RX monitor application, as you can see, friends, clearly. This is the RX monitor, there is no carrier aggregation as well. So now let's see what will be the speeds. So first, let's uh, see the speeds, what uh, we can get in this kind of condition without any kind of 4G plus condition. That is what I'm going to see right now. And let's see friends what will be the C situation and after doing a couple of test results then I'll try to download the game from the Play Store and then I'll try to uh, count how much time it it took to download in the IQ7 device. As you can clearly see friends right now the speeds went up to 3.38 Mbps on the download speeds and the browsing speeds 2.2 or 22.3 as you can clearly see friends. So this is the Airtel sim which I'm trying to use right now and you can see the band as well 900 bandwidth which we are getting in this IQ7 device at this point as you can clearly see friends. So once I do the two times testing and then I'll try to move to the next test which is download test and then I'll try to transfer the same sim card into this I oneplus 9R device. So then we'll be able to identify what is the difference actually. So in the second time testing let's see how much the speed can actually reach in this iq7 device it's reaching up to close to 20 will it cost 20 or not let's see friends i think it's kind of not i think is it can it can cross it can it did cross as you can see 22 mbps even for the second time testing as well i did get the 22 mbps as you can clearly see and the upload speeds are close to 7 mbps you can clearly see friends overall uh, that's a real good result for the airtel 4g without any kind of 4G plus. So this is a test which I'm trying to do without any 4G plus. So in indoor condition friends, as I said, I'll try to do another video which is outdoor uh, extreme test as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. I'll try to download this game particularly. So this is a game which is has got 55 MB of size or 57 MB of size, depending on the smartphone. So right now let me try to uh, download this, uh, this game. Right now let me try to use the stopwatch. Let's see how much time the phone will actually take to download. This game will take to download. Here is a stopwatch ready as well. Let me need to click start as you can see same time I did click start and in this IQ7 device let's see friends how much time the game will be able to download and right now it's showing pending let me do one thing so as soon as uh, it starts installing then I'll try to click uh, stopwatch because sometimes it takes a lot of time for the pending to uh, get installed as you can see right now sometimes it takes more time sometimes it doesn't take more time and right, let's focus on the top on the notification bar how much speeds we are getting on the top notification bars i think i am getting about 1.7 mbps so try to focus here friends try to focus on the net meter so only for this purpose i did uh, install this kind of net meter as well in the settings option so 1.6 1.6 i am getting right now 1.55 speeds so this will be the really interesting comparison friends with the oneplus 9 r a lot of users they are thinking of buying the iq7 device but they are really scared of uh, this kind of network connectivity issues so overall the iq7 phone took about 34 seconds to download this game so let's see whether the oneplus 9 r will be able to support the carrier aggregation and whether oneplus 9 r will be having the high speeds whether oneplus 9 r will be having the more download speeds or not so these are the three things we will be checking right now let me try to uh, remove the sim card so i did remove the sim card here and uh, let's see friends same sim card i'm trying to use same sim card in front of the camera only i'm trying to uh, change so as you can clearly see there's no other sim card in this phone in the oneplus 9r device so let me need to uh, first let me need to open the net Mon monster application to show you what will be the result let me need to turn off the wi-fi so wi-fi is turned off and let me need to show you the notification is uh, so 4g i'm trying to turn on friends as you can see 
So right now I did click on the mobile data turned on and at the top you can see only the 4G there is no 4G play symbol as you can see friends in the one place manner clearly you can see so there is no 4G play symbol I am getting let me try to open the RX monitor application to check whether is there any kind of I can get any kind of aggregation in this kind of spot or not using the Airtel sim card you can clearly see same sim I am trying to use Airtel you can see friends Airtel sim card as you can see friends, there is no carrier aggression. I am not getting any kind of thing. So let me do it quickly. Uh, start the stopwatch. Sorry, uh, speed test. Next, let's see. While doing speed test, if you are able to uh, see any kind of 4G plays or not. So even uh, while doing the speed test as well, I try to keep an eye on that particular thing. So let me do quickly uh, check. I think uh, let me try to select the Airtel. I, did, I think I did use same kind of server only. I am trying to use the same kind of server. Yes, same kind of server. Airtel broadband. As you can see friends, it went up to 30 Mbps. Oh my god, same SIM card, 36, 37. That's totally high. As you can clearly see, same SIM card at same place I'm trying to use friends. And you got about 30 Mbps of speeds. That's really high in the OnePlus 9R, yes. So that's totally high. I'm trying to do the test two times. I'll try to do the test one more time. And then I'll try to do the download speeds. So now you'll be able to see the download speeds as well on the top. Let me to start the test again. Let's see in the second time will the phone be will the phone be able to cross higher than the 30 Mbps or not? So 10 Mbps, 10 close. Now it, now I'm not getting that much high speed. So 10, 15, 15. Come on, 15 Mbps, 15 only at this point. As you can see, friends, only 14. Second time we got not much higher. And upload speeds are about 5 Mbps. You can see clearly. But this is not the final conclusion friends, you cannot come into the conclusion right now here itself. You need to see the download, only then you will be able to come, come to the conclusion. So these are the speeds, as you can see friends, 14 but the highest was 29.9, so 29.0. So is a game friends which I'll try to download in this OnePlus 9R. Let's see how much time this game actually takes to download in this OnePlus 9R device. So it is a 34 seconds from the IQ server device which we got and let's see friends how much time this phone takes actually. So let me try to reset the value and value is resetted. Let me try to start install and as soon as it's installing, I'll try to click play. Yes. So let's see friends how much time and you can see the stop speed as well in the notification bar how much speeds I'm trying to get. At this point, as you can see clearly. So this speeds totally depend upon the type of location and type of sim you are trying to use overall. So right now as you can see friends, 1 Mbps, it, it, it did went up to 1, 1 Mbps and 1.32 Mbps. You can clearly see 1.12 so 797 so let's see friends final result uh, i think the one iq7 slightly got better in terms of this kind of using this kind of sim as you can see clearly later it uh, the speed increased to 1.94 mbps later on not in the beginning As you can see friends, the total time it took about 49 seconds in the OnePlus 9 device. And I forgot to show you what is the band I'm getting here. As you can see friends, the Airtel 4G I'm getting about 1800 bandwidth as you can clearly see here. So whereas in the IQ7 device, I did get only I think 900 bandwidth, not the 1800. There is a quite difference, but overall in terms of the download speed, download speed, the IQ7 is slightly better than the OnePlus 9 in this kind of location using this Airtel SIM in this spot. Indoor conditions friends is a perfect indoor situation and the speed test results are slightly uh, better on this OnePlus 9 device. So sometimes I do get this kind of high speeds in the OnePlus 9 friends sometimes but not every time and I'm not, I'm not sure when but sometimes I do get this kind of high speeds. So so much high speeds very much high speeds right now you can see friends I'm getting about 4 Mbps 2 Mbps. So just I thought of stopping the video but later on I did uh, do the test and later I did see this kind of high speeds which I'm getting in this uh, OnePlus 9 using the Airtel SIM card only I'm trying to use. As you can see friends, it did went up to 4 Mbps and 5 Mbps as well during this time of testing. Sometimes it can actually go that kind of high speeds as well friends, that is what I'm going to uh, say to all. Let, it, let me try to start the game again, download. So let's see this time how much the high speeds can go in this phone, that is what I'm trying to see. So now it's not going that much higher, so only 1 Mbps, not much. So 1 Mbps as you can see, it's still rem rem remaining around only 1 Mbps. But overall, sometimes the speeds are really high, friends, in this one place manner. Sometimes if it can get the proper kind of signals. So this is a final review, friends, completely between both phones. And thank you for watching this video. And both phones in this location, indoor conditions, they're not supporting the 4G place. So thank you for watching this video, friends. And see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Bye.